Now just a short conversation about roof plans. Roof plans, as the name suggests, are plan views of houses looking straight down at the roof. And they're usually quite simple. Usually uh, we don't show separate framing. We just show here's what the thing looks like with all the hips and valleys and uh, ridges and so forth. We'll show whatever sticks out of the roof, the, the vents, the chimneys, all that sort of thing. And then we tell them what kind of roofing material we're going to use. If you have a more, a, a larger and maybe more complex house, then you might want to give some information about framing. This is our textbook's idea of framing. Some people in complex houses actually draw separate roof framing plans uh, and not like this they actually show the framing uh, usually you don't need to be doing all that the CAD layers start with A for architecture and then roof so when we did our, our floor plans we went A wall now when we're doing roofs we say A roof and then we have an outline, uh, the wall under the roof that's a dashed line, some text, and maybe if we're doing roof framing, a joist layer. We are not in our assignment. Now, the thing that's important to remember when you're drawing a roof plan is that these are shapes looking down from the sky at the top of the roof. You are not seeing these shapes true size and shape. They are foreshortened, is what we say. So if you put a scale on this, uh, this width across here, you'd get some number. That distance is not the actual distance of the roofing. Like we saw in the last lecture when we talked about how do you order roofing material, by the square, so here's a 10 foot by 10 foot square on this steep roof. Well, this roof, as an example, has a lot of surface area and will buy a lot of roofing. But when we look down from above, it looks like this. So notice the difference, the big old slopey stuff that we put roofing material on compared with the foreshortened rectangle that we see when we look down from above. This is also important uh, if you do something like rainwater harvesting and you need to think about how many square feet of roof area do you have for catching rainwater. In that case you think about this uh, reddish foreshortened rectangle, that's your roof area, unlike the slopey part that you use when you're ordering your roofing material. 